Okay, another collection video today. Um, this one's a bit of a... I never actually realised how many of these I had, but um, tennis video games are some that I enjoy quite a bit. Um, they're not released yearly like other sports franchises, but I just thought I'd show off my collection of them anyway. Um, I'm going to try and do these in series rather than the year they were released, because that's why I've ordered them in. Um, right, yeah, let's kick off. I'm going to kick off with Virtua Tennis, because that's probably the most popular one. Um, Virtua Tennis 2, uh, for the PlayStation 2. I remember playing this in the arcades and picking it up on the PS2 a couple of months later. Um, it was good, but because it was a blue disc, it very rarely played on my PS2. So uh, I think that's definitely better in the arcades, that one. But yeah, that's definitely what, one of the ones that got me into tennis. Right, that was followed by... Well, this is the next one I've got, anyway. Virtual Tennis World Tour, one of the fir first four games that I got for the PSP. Um, um, yeah, it's pretty much Virtual Tennis 2 with the roster update, you know, Federer and Roddick and people like that. And there were some fictional characters in there as well. Mini games, famous Virtual Tennis mini games that made no sense whatsoever, but they were fun as hell. So that's um, that one. Um, Virtual Tennis 3, now this this is a very strange game, I got it in 2007 and I hardly played it, but as soon as I got Xbox Live I couldn't stop playing it because the online was fantastic for this even when I got my ass kicked it was just so fun to play there were so many different players, so many different styles oh god, it's a shame more people don't play this today the only thing I didn't like about this, which they fixed in the later versions is the diving every time you hit a ball wide and he went to reach it rather than just stick his arm out he would make his whole body dive so you're completely vulnerable to the next point but uh yeah and uh, I don't know if I'm the only one here I've got the PSP version later on and it just doesn't work I I don't think it's my PSP because I've had two PSPs and I've also tried it on my mum's PSP and it just doesn't work on any of them it just it loads the menu but then as soon as you try and load up a match it just freezes so I don't know if that's a, w a common problem um, so yeah, after Virtual Tennis 3, I was really hyped for 2009. Um, but this is on a big letdown. Uh, the career mode took a huge step back. It was just not fun. You just it took forever to take on all the major stars, and it just wasn't fun. It just felt this probably should have been like a, a downloadable update to free, because it fixed stuff like that we wanted to be fixed, like the. Um, uh, diving in 3, but um, it just wasn't... I mean, it had Legends and that in it, but I couldn't I couldn't really save it. Um, right, I'm going to go on to Top Spin now. This is probably my favourite overall series. This is Top Spin for the original Xbox. I didn't have an original Xbox first growing up. I've just picked this up after a while, and it's clear why people love this. It was a really cool game. It's like the compared to Virtual Tennis was like arcade style this has always tried to get realism I've never played this on Xbox Live which is a real shame it's a shame this is not compatible with the 360 because it's just so playable so fun it feels a lot more like real tennis than most games do um, yeah but one I did pick up before that is the PS2 version where they've kind of just taken the game and they've changed some of the major characters like Sampras has gone and Federer's in and stuff like that uh, again, didn't play the online because I didn't have an online PS2. Um, yeah, you could play as yourself with a USB iToy camera, but my room is always way too dark. I can never pick up a realistic face. So, um, yep, top spin, and we've virtually the same cover. Top spin two for 360. This was one of the first games I got for the Xbox 360, and it was so fun. It was so fun. Career mode, it did get harder, so it was really realistic. Player creator was brilliant, lots of licensed clothing. It's probably not, it didn't have a big of an impact as the original Top Spin, but it was still very good. So, um, yeah, God. 
shot spin too. Back now, playing it back now is kind of difficult. We had like a wrist shot system, and not many people were a fan of that. Yeah, but I liked it. <coughs> right, double whammy. Whoops, what happened there? Top spin three. Uh, one of the reasons I've got a PS3 is all the exclusives that are coming around. Uh, Rafael Nadal, for some reason, was only in the PlayStation 3 version. So I ended up getting that one, and later on, earlier this year, or late last year, I got this up to see if I can get some achievements, because there's no trophies for this. So, um, yeah. This is this is the biggest risk they took, because um, it, was, it was, like, almost too realistic, because they actually made it where you held a button down and then released it to hit powerful shots. And for some reason, I always played tennis games that way, even virtual tennis, I always held down the release, so it felt really natural to me. But, um... I think a lot of people will put off with this. Um, so yeah, but I like how this is a lot more realistic. It's got a realistic career mode, realistic venues. No Wimbledon, unfortunately. But um, yep. And that brings us to the most recent release: Top Spin 4, PlayStation Move features, which are really kind of rubbish. I was hoping it'd be like. Um, well, you just swung the remote, but it's you need the navigation controller or a dual shot to control the player's movement and aim. Which to me, that means you've just got the move controller to just move your arm and force the racket to move, rather than actually aiming it like an actual tennis racket. So there's no Wimbledon in this either. So saying centre court is yours is kind of unique on a grass court. Probably get a lot of people's hopes up there. But yeah, this is I'm playing this a hell of a lot. This is a great game. They've kind of improved on nearly everything Top Spin 3 did wrong. Um, there's not as much clothing for your character though. Top Spin 3 had like a whole clothing store and Top Spin 4 is like an aisle, like one section of a shop. They hardly give you anything, which is a shame, but um, yep, that's Top Spin 4. Definitely recommend that one. I haven't got Virtua Tennis 4 yet, because I'm just not really interested in getting it. I'll throw in an honourable mention as I can see it. Mario Power Tennis. It's tennis. It's Mario. I think you know what's coming. It's got mini games. It's got really cool venues. Some that really hurt your eyes. I remember there was a court that was just completely black. I don't know what happened there, but uh, yeah, that's Mario Power Tennis for you. <laughs> and keeping with the um, gimmicky type games, we've got Sega Superstar Tennis. Take Tennis. Take Sonic. You, you know what I'm getting at. That court I was talking about, the black court that might have been on here. I'm not sure. It's one of the two. They've got courts that will really hurt your eyes. But this, because it's Sega, it's practically virtual tennis, but with Sega superstars instead of regular superstars. Or... I'm going to throw these in while I remember. Um, I know I've pretty much mentioned the games, though. Virtual Tennis 2009 on the Wii. Um with Wii Motion Plus really annoying you have to stop and start at every point to register the Wii Motion Plus so that's a real pain in the derriere Top Stream 3 for the Wii you need the nunchuck it's just all full graphics there's nothing like the next generation PS3 360 version it's nothing like that um, the only good Wii game tennis game is Grand Slam Tennis in my opinion cartoon characters whoops there we go Cartoony like characters, like character models, but all four Grand Slams uh, are remote, it's a Wii with Motion Plus support, but I always preferred it without Motion Plus, but it had so many control schemes, and if you just want to have fun playing tennis, this is definitely the one to get, with or without Motion Plus, other one suits you, um, oh god, probably should have started with this one, this is the oldest one, really crap, all star tennis with the Playstation, now I'm not, I saw a game on the PlayStation Network, All Star Boxing, so I'm guessing they released All Star series of different All Star sports. But yeah, they're just big bobbleheads. I don't know if you can see that. Then none of them are real. Um, God, hang on a second. Some of them look like Mr. Bean. Sixteen different characters, each their own style. Well, it was it was crap. That's all you need to know. Oh, I can carry on with the crap here. There we go. Perfect Ace. Nothing was perfect about this. Tennis consultancy provided coaches to... What? They're talking about stars that ain't even in here. 
No licensed stars, no fun, nothing. Just don't even bother. And it's a blue disc, luckily. Perfect Ace 2. Oh my god. Emma looking stunned. Tennis doesn't get any better than this. Well, maybe for you, Tim, but for us, we prefer a bit better. Licensed players, girls. When Hemmer's the biggest player you've got, that really is saying how crap the game is. No offence to him. Full player editor, yeah, it was crap. The commentary, that was really stupid. I know it was one of one of the few to provide commentary, but it's the woman... Oh, she's like constantly pleasuring herself after every point. Uh, uh, uh. It's just embarrassing. Oh, God. One of the first few I got. Smash Court Tennis... Smash Court Tennis 2. Now these were great games. It had the element of arcade in it, but it and it had real venues, all the grand slams and everything. And it just I love the career mode. Even Top Spin hasn't quite got the career mode of this. It had so many series that you could play, so many mini games. Like it took the best of Virtua and Top Spin and put them together in a game. But yeah, Smash Court Tennis 2. If you're going to get one, get that one because it's not a blue disc and it's. It's better. Simples. And that provided a spin-off. This is a European exclusive, I think. Roland Garros 2005. Um, one thing, it's basically Smash Court Tennis 2 with a French Open wrapping. But um, one thing they did do in this game, it really puts me off. In the career mode, it pretty much works exactly like Smash Court 2, but they take out the other three Grand Slams. They don't, I don't know if they lost the license to it, but they could at least put some fake ones in. They just... This is the only Grand Slam you can play in the career mode. Pretty pointless. And years later, Smash Court Tennis 3. I originally got the PSP, and then I got this one. All the licenses have been taken out from previous games. The gameplay's still there, but one thing I really like in this game, that they really should start implementing in other games, is they've got the, um, port... Is that cricket? Hawkeye? Or the, the way you ask them to reverse the decision. The line call him when it goes out and that. Because the umpire actually makes mistakes, like real life, and you can challenge him. Now why that isn't in other games, I don't know. But yeah. I like the overall style of this game. It's just, there's hardly anyone played it online, so I just didn't really give it much of a look. And I think that's going to be the end of it. Um, that's just a look at my tennis collection. I believe I've covered everything. Any honourable mentions? Maybe Wii Sports Tennis. But uh, that's not... That's just... Shouldn't really be considered a tennis game. That's just fun. That's like ping pong. And it's just... Yeah, that's... Don't really control your characters. But yeah. That's the, my tennis game collection. Uh, if you have any requests, as usual, just comment and I'll see what I can do. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Uh... PlayStation Network's back up. Woohoo! An apology is in order. I'm not done. I left out the shittiest of the shit. Oh uh, my god. I just spotted it when I just finished recording that video, so I'm sorry if I've made you jump by just adding that at the end there. But, um... Midas Touch. Hang on, that's the same people that made that All-Star Tennis. No wonder I hated this. They all look like Tekken characters. It's awful. Perfect Ace 2 is better than this. That's it. I'm definitely done now. Your eyes will no longer bleed. I'm sorry. See you guys soon. Peace.